Okay, hello everybody. Um, today, I wanted to focus on a little bit of workout nutrition and the different ways that we can use our nutrition to help supplement our workouts. So um, the nutrition around your workouts and how to um, either, I don't even know how to explain how to, but basically it all depends on what your goals are is going to determine what your nutrition should look like. And when it comes to like the performance aspect that you want with your workouts. So what are your goals? And then also how long are you working out for then determines if you need to change anything with your nutrition or if you need to take it into consideration when you're working out. So depending on your goals, so this could be anything is your main focus to lose fat? Is it to gain muscle? A lot of us, um, is it to get stronger? Is it to increase endurance? The majority of us, as we start to implement like a consistent workout routine, we will, there is a thing called beginner gains where, and this is like, because you're a beginner, you are, you are primed to see all of those things kind of happen at once. So you, you'll you see that you're losing fat. You'll see that you're getting stronger in the gym. You'll probably gain some muscle too and increase your endurance and stamina, everything that comes along with it because you are a beginner. If you are someone that is a little bit more advanced, you've been working out for a couple of years, um, this is when we can really use nutrition to move the needle. Um, but again, nutrition is still important, even if you're a beginner and all you're doing is exercising, but you pay no mind to the amount of food that you're eating, you're not going to see the results that you want, even though you will get stronger in the gym. <laughs> but maybe if you want to lose what fat specifically, or you want to really see the number on the scale go down, we have to be intentional with our nutrition as well. So if you, if your primary focus is to lose fat, this is where we want to make sure that we are in the slight calorie deficit or following, oh, just a minute. Hi, Kristen. Seems like she's connecting at the moment. Um, so I can continue speaking on workout nutrition, but if you have any specific questions, Kirsten, please feel free to jump in and ask. Or if you have something totally unrelated to nutrition, like workout nutrition, that's totally fair game as well. I'm here for you if you need, have any questions. Okay. I'm assuming that you'll just be listening live for now. Um, so, but feel free to stop me at any time. So for specifically to lose fat, hi. <laughs> All right, sorry, I couldn't get it working. <laughs> no worries, how are you? I'm doing okay, how about you? Good, thank you. Did you have any specific questions you wanted to focus on for today's call? I do not. Okay, um, but I better find it. I just buried the door and almost forgot about this. So, but I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Great. If you don't mind me asking, how long have you been with Fit Me so far? A couple of months. Okay. Exactly Great. Exactly at this moment. And how is I'm your trying. journey going? Uh, well, it's been a few weeks, so not great. The last doing real good for a while, and I'm just to it um so it is it is what it is i, I small chunks at a time sometimes uh, like today i i had to take a around to some places and i figured i live there in and out of the car so i think that probably accounts uh, movement for today <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, don't know, need to... I mean i suppose <laughs> yeah something you know I, I am planning on going for a walk. beautiful day oops it's still kind of cold beautiful day so yeah 
spring is finally coming around so it's nice we're getting Finger, some warm. fingers crossed i've I, spring like i said it's still pretty cold out there but in the terrible so um for a few minutes a little bit ago and and it's stayed like i still would have to wear my gloves in the to, i think if i go for a walk i might not okay i don't even know if it got to 50 today it, when you're sitting in the sun well, in the car actually we we a little bit of a drive and and it's perfect in and, and we could roll down our windows a little and, yeah, anyway <laughs> it's wonderful on that all day <clears throat> yeah that's great to hear maybe like what are some issues that you have around movement with movement well, you're cutting off it uh, and it's probably my signal weird internet issues uh, the movement has not some of it's been motivation but it just kind of depends um i like to do a lot of indoor stuff so i really like to walk and so when weather that's usually not a problem probably go i'll probably wait till after dinner but uh i'll probably go this evening as long you know two or three miles probably which is, I, I love to walk all day long. Uh, I, I'm needing other things. Um, I think Marlena's um, movement snacks is so little throughout the day, which I kind of feel like that's what the wheelchair <laughs> Hey, I don't think I need to add extra strength today. Um, but yes, doing you know, doing a few squats when I get up to go to the thing. Um, um, whatever, you know, to, to make that happen. Uh, and again, with the weather getting nicer, it's a lot easier side to do anything. Yeah, I know a lot of us like walking and being outside. And that's usually like the easiest way for a lot of us to get started with movement. And then we struggle a lot with the strength training aspect, um, usually because that does take place indoors. But like you were saying, that's you can take strength training outside too when the weather is nice. Yeah. You can do some, you know, use a bench as a step up. You can use the bench to do like elevated push ups. There's um, doing squats, walking lunges. Um, but yeah, I love the movement snacks. And I think that's a really great way to get started. Just having a little bit throughout sprinkled throughout your day. Um, when you do that, do you, the next day, do you feel any soreness or? Um, I've only done a little yet. So um, probably think like I don't, I, so I have a belly dance. I didn't go, I was a little feeling a little under the weather. Um, and so we do a lot of um, yoga type moving. Um, some of it's for stretching and some of it's to get us be able to move a little smoother. Belly dancing moves and so anyway, warm up. And then we usually do a little bit, but mostly it's the warm up one where we do a little bits of things, but I haven't been sore from that time. So I'm going to guess that I probably step up the stuff out especially since that's only one day a week anyway. I just need to get better about uh, doing some. Um, but I haven't been sore out in a while. Uh, I, I um, my leg that I had last year that I walk a lot, sometimes it hurts a little, but uh, part of getting back to it. So, um, and I might, once the air is a little warmer in my asthma, I'd, I might try to throw in a little bit of run. But with that leg, the last I tried that with that leg, it, it was comfortable. Because I, in addition to the you know, fairly freshly, and I've also put on a few pounds since I did that. Because I had a broken foot in one and then a uh, fracture in 2022. Um, 
so I lost a lot of the momentum that I was making um, on my strength and my running and endurance and all of that. So that's taking a little time to get back to. Yeah, that's completely normal. I know a lot of us kind of have a similar story and they can resonate with that. Um, with belly dancing, I think that's really great because you're working a little bit of flexibility, some cardio. I know it requires yeah. a lot of core strength as well. Um, so that's really yes. good. Definitely continue with that if that's something that you really enjoy and it's easy to yeah. show up for belly dance class. I'm all about doing outside of class, like practicing. I know I'm terrible at it, fun. So I'm still having fun. So I still go at the very least, I'm getting, you know, getting that movement in. So yeah, and I do try to walk um, almost every day mile, but uh, I guess it's been kind of weird with my schedule and anyway, so. Yeah. Um, the only other thing I was going to recommend or try to like challenge you is with the strength portion. So given that you did have surgery and you had some issues with your ankle, um, I don't know if you did any physical therapy for that, or if there are any physical therapy based exercises that you're able to start with, especially if you want to get back to running, running puts a lot of load on our joints and some of us just like go straight running and then we end up with a new injury. So I really want you to focus on implementing some strength exercises, um, whether that's physical therapy based or doing something to really build up your hips, your legs, so that when you go back to running, we don't end up with a new injury. Well, I am supposed to be therapy. I have bursitis in my hip and I'm supposed to be physical therapy for that, but I'm still, it's been months. <laughs> that takes my insurance and then once I'm trying to get on their schedule you know it's just crazy that will be helpful I can probably ask you know, equally they're not working on my leg or whatever ask you know what would be some good exercises to try so um yeah um but in the meantime even with whatever you're doing for movement snacks for strength um if you're maybe you're used to doing just like 10 squats or I, I don't know what else you're for example you do 10 squats every time that you get up right or something right. maybe right to push it a little bit more and add five more reps if you're getting used to okay. that feeling as much of a stimulus you've been doing 10 squats for the past week or two now let's bump it up a little bit to 15 squats just so that you continue to provide your body with a new stimulus and you're creating that adaptation to your muscles and you continue to feel stronger and better and all that. Yeah, that makes sense. Just writing notes because I won't remember about if I don't. <laughs> Yeah, what, so what were the movements that you're doing for your movement snacks? Um, squat, I, have, for, I think they would bother my hip, but they don't. Good with that. Um, and uh, uh, then like wall push up, counter, um, do. And it's definitely the upper body, what I definitely need to work on more would be better at some of the belly dancing stuff too anyway so that's one of those things i'll figure out i don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna be something but for my core i know i need to do yeah definitely if there's um even something with core if you want to add in some sit-ups or dead bugs um and i think that'll translate over to your belly dancing as well um yeah I feel like I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I said all the time. Yeah, there was something. Usually it's, <laughs> something usually stops with my sentence and I totally lose track of what I was <laughs> uh, <laughs> that. That's me right now. Um, it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Hmm. I wonder what it was. Well, yeah, I totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back to you as soon as we get off this call. Right. Oh, it always happens. <laughs> no worries. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really great starting point as far as maybe pushing yourself for to add a little bit more strength. Um, it's been in the it, last couple of weeks that I started doing longer walks, purposefully doing longer. Um, I had signed up for a bunch of 5Ks during the pandemic. Uh, so they send you the medal and you get the medal. But my friend and I would then just fully do the walk together. And then we would back of our medal and move it to the side. Right. We had a whole system. And about seven or eight of them because the, I broke my foot and couldn't do much of anything for a while. And I just started getting back to doing some walking and broke my left. So. So there, I've got a lot of them collecting dust. If I can get myself out for that, uh, even if it's just walking, then uh, I'm doing pretty good, but uh, easier than others. And there's, I usually, if I go good, I kind of have to, um, like in the blocks far, I guess. Does that make sense? A lot of, um, general vicinity of the house. We have a lot of um, blocks of houses and older houses. And so I can just street and down the next and up one street and down the next. I'm also getting kills in then there too, but uh, yeah, a little boring. I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to walk to. <laughs> Cause you can only do that in a row before it's, you need to change. It. So I don't know. Yeah, so um, is that something that you're interested in doing, like leading a 5K again or doing an event like that? I, I, we, we never, you know, it was all, we did, you did it on your own because, like, and so, you know, social distance, nobody wants to wear a mask when they run. I sort of can do that because I've done it, but, uh, but it's been like a full quarter mile, I have to, go back to walking I have exercises and so even in my best I still can't run a full quarter mile probably but doing the best I can and walking with I could get I was about at a 15 my best so I know I can get back there I'm at like 17 18 depending uh, depending on the hills and the cold the things so um, like to get closer to where I was before, but uh, like I said, I, I need to change my game up a little because it's getting boring. Same houses every day. Yeah, would you to plan something on the weekends, like doing a hike or somewhere? Yeah, I I know I could plan some. Part of the issue is that I can't walk that far, so there's a partner because my friend. I would love to have come with me. Neither of us is working right now. Is the there? And so uh, we did. An idea um, is to get her have just a regular wheelchair. So regular wheelchair, and she and I can go like to a, and then she'll push it as long as she can. When she can't go anymore, she'll get in the chair. Um, but but I haven't not uh, wheelchair yet, but idea because she she wants to move more but she's pretty limited walk some and so so she'd like to do that. I'm gonna write myself another note just to check on that see if I can find borrow because um, wheelchair but it's motorized and it's really hard and so if she's already walking she doesn't need to be also then push like one of those little cars that's try to push and it just doesn't really it's not like you could pull it back and that would be really no anyway uh so uh so it's hard I don't do that very much because it's hard not on um 
nice little, I mean, that's what I in out of the car and it's, it's actually a nice, fairly lightweight for a, especially wheelchair. So um, it's fine today. And we, yeah, we need to just find push or she can push and then I can in it, so. Yeah, I, that seems like a good step for you to like check in on that and see if you guys can set something up and feel the pressure to have to finish like an entire hike. Just do what you can. And then, you know, a week or two from then meet up again and see if you can do a little bit more. That's Yeah, well, we try out at least one day every week. Um, like if working, I'm doing some volunteering. And so I have stuff on my schedule. She has very little. So, uh, so we try to get together twice a week. Um, so it wouldn't be an only thing would be probably one of your school hours since the track of probably not allowed. I don't know. I don't know how it even works with schools anymore. So, uh, <laughs> you know, everything's, uh, from when I was, in, um, yeah. So, so yeah, but yeah, I'd like hikes and stuff so I'm trying to problem is that because I got so out of shape people that would be willing to go hiking with me sort of straggling behind and I'm gonna go on my own I'm just gonna have to it's not as much fun but I can do it <laughs> now that the weather's getting nicer there's no reason and I'm gonna get my bike up and running again just need to fix some of the lights so my dad and I can or I can just go on my own. It's an e a pedal, so I can do that without inhaler at all, which is nice. So I can still go places and get the exercise without like, having an asthma. <laughs> just having to stop and walk because I, you know, it's been a while. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those are all great things when it comes to walking. So it sounds like maybe having an accountability buddy. Um, having a change of scenery will also help. And then um, another tip that I wanted to give, sometimes we can't do, we, we can't have any of those, right? <laughs> sometimes it just is what it is. But what I really like to do is actually call a friend while I go out for a walk. And that alleviates the like fact that I'm walking the same trail again, or I'm looking at the same houses again, because my mind is distracted catching up with a friend. Yeah, uh, my my sister and I also did that for the, with the virtual five Ks. Um, we were in different cities, so we would call each out while we're walking. So, and she's supposed to be size too. So, I think I will uh, on that and uh, see if we can that again too. Awesome. Definitely, it is. It's definitely better with a and you know nobody thinks you're crazy if you're talking more. So, right? Because it's gonna. <laughs> Well, either, when it's cold enough, I have a built-in earbuds. Um, otherwise, my hair kind of covers it. So people, you know, it just looks myself because like my phone is in my pocket. It's covering my earbud. And yeah, I, it's fine. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay. Well, I feel like you have some good outlook on what you can improve on for your movement when it comes to walking, strengthening, um, hopefully working up to like running again. Is there anything else that you are wanting some assistance with? I so it's just, yeah, it's just, yes, doing it is just um, getting off my butt and doing it. Yeah. That is a tough one. <laughs> um, typically what I like to do is we kind of have to trick ourselves into do it, into doing it because no one, it's really rare that a person has the motivation. So sometimes we just have to think about what's the next step to getting out the door and getting some training in or work out, workout in, right? Is it I just need to put my leggings on. Is it maybe like putting on my shoes? Is it kind of just saying, you know what? I'm just going to do one squat. I'm just right. Five minutes. And then all of a sudden you're doing 15 squats, right? So yeah, because once you start moving, 
happened, but it's the getting started. That absolutely. absolutely that in motion stays it's in the in budget right now. So, uh, so yeah. And sometimes another. What I'm hoping is maybe in the fall when the a little crappy again that I can afford to start classes and things like that regularly. So, you know, be along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then another thing is like, I know a lot of us will just like sit on the couch and kind of have that inner battle of like, I should do this. I should like, but it's, I don't want to or whatever. <laughs> um, <Okay. and laughs> we really have to just say like, don't think, just do it. Just start yep. doing, um, stop the argument. Yeah. Cause once I get started, I'm like, this is great. Why didn't I do this? So I, yeah, I totally get it. Absolutely. It's all in my head. In my head is what needs to happen. So, or just think about like, what am I gonna feel like after I do this? Yeah, you're not gonna feel upset with yourself. You're gonna be like, yes, I did it. I have more energy. I feel great. You know. So th maybe thinking about what you're gonna receive at the end as a reward will also be helpful. Um, is there something that for behavior change, is there something that, because maybe you don't like working out, but is there something that you can connect with it that you do enjoy? Is it listening to a podcast, some music, it, you know, calling a friend when you're going out for a walk? Um, and also, can you like do a reward at the end? You, once you accomplish the workout, then I get to whatever X, Y, and Z. Is right. It. As long as it's not food, we don't use food as a reward. Right. That's yeah. <laughs> so sometimes that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can let piece of candy today because you know, <laughs> earned it right. I have to earn it ahead. Well, I that's you try to do that. Yeah, but it's, that's it's a, sometimes hard. Yeah, we don't want to. Or it's do hard to stop once you start. Yeah, yeah. I think I've heard someone else say this before where like we're not you're not a dog. You don't get a treat at the end of your right. trip. <laughs> um, I'll feel the treat that I was already planning to have, I guess a reward in itself, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I'm gonna have to think of something. I mean I'm gonna have to think of something that that's creep. So I don't know what that is yet. I mean, for some people, it's like, I'll scroll for 10 minutes on my phone or lay on the couch for 10 minutes. Or um, maybe if you complete 20 workouts this month, you get to buy yourself a new gym outfit or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I, yeah. That's thing that will work for me. Um. Okay, well, this is the end of the call. It was so nice talking to you, Kristen. Thank you for showing up today. Um, and I, uh, enjoyed, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your evening. You as well. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.